A bomber plane is flying at some height and we are releasing a bomb from that height. This bomb is striking the truck. But why the bomb is striking the truck? What is the concept behind this? So we are going to do a concept of projectile motion today. What is a projectile motion? So when an object is thrown upward at some height with some angle, then this object follow a path, a curve path. And acceleration is constant here. This curve path is known as projectile and the motion of that object is known as projectile motion. The motion takes place in two directions, x and y direction. And the path, the trajectory that the object follow is known as parabolic path. So let's move to the problem and see what the problem says. Okay, so our problem says a bomber is flying level at a speed 72 meter per second, about 161 miles per hour at an elevator height 103. So let's draw a bomber first. This is our plane or bomber and it is moving with a velocity v1. Okay, a bomb is attached at the bottom of the plane and the height of the plane is given as 103 meter. The, uh, then the problem says when directly over the bomb, the bomb is released and strike the truck which is moving along a level road in x-axis with constant speed. At the instant the bomb is released, the truck is at a distance of 125 meter from the O. So let's say this is our O point and the initial position of the truck x0 is x0 whose value is 125 meter. This is our truck and this truck is moving with the velocity of v2. Find the, we have to find the value of v2 and the height of the truck is given as 3 meter. It's saying when the truck after moving a velocity of v2 reaches uh, another point, the bomb is striking this truck. So let's see and visualize this problem in Algedo and see what happens and how the bomb is striking the truck. So this is the problem that we have made in our virtual platform called Algedo. Here we have taken a plane and a bomb is made in the downward portion of the plane. A truck, we have placed a truck at the bottom of and with respect to the surface. So when we are starting the view stimulation, we are seeing that the bomb is striking the truck. So this is happening because we are seeing in the frame of reference of the ground. Here two concepts come. First, the concept of projectile motion. Because the bomb has been thrown from an angle and it is striking the surface and since the path of the surface is always, projectile motion path is always parabolic in nature, so the bomb is striking the truck as the truck is moving with velocity. But the same problem, uh, we have another concept is introduced here that is known as the frame of reference concept. So here, if... We have, we, if we are standing on the ground and are visualizing the incident that is happening here, then the case that we'll get here is that the bomb will strike the surface of the truck. But what if we are standing or sitting at the plane and we're visualizing it? So for that, let's see what happens. So if we are sitting on the plane, then we are seeing that the bomb is falling or uh, falling in the downward direction and uh, then the bomb will not strike the truck because here the truck is very uh, present, that is why it is striking. But when we are sitting on the plane, then we will see the bomb to fall directly in the ground and not follow a parabolic path. But when we are standing in the ground, then our bomb will strike the truck and it is forming a parabolic path. So two concepts are introduced here. First, the concept of parabolic motion and the another concept of frame of reference. So frame of reference also play an important role in uh, doing this problem. So let's move on to solve this problem. So as we have visualized and seen the problem, uh, from Algodoo that the bomb is striking the truck. Now let's begin 
to solve this problem. So the diagram here is drawn and we, since the motion in uh, projectile motion, the motion takes place both in x-axis and y-axis. So let's take the equation of motion for x and y-axis for the bomb. So in x-axis, the equation of motion for the bomb will be x is equal to v1t or v naught xt minus half gt square. As acceleration due to gravity is zero in the x-axis, this portion is zero. So our x value will be v naught xt. And here the velocity value is 72 meter. So we are multiplying with time. The equation in the x-axis we are getting as 72 meter per second into time. Now in y-axis, the equation of bomb in the y-axis will be given as y change in displacement or y in the y-axis will be equal to v naught y t minus half gt square. Since the bomb is released from a height, and initial position of the bomb is initial velocity of the bomb is zero. So V naught Y is equal to zero. Then our equation in the Y axis will be Y minus Y naught equal to minus half GT square. Here Y is the height of the truck and Y naught is the height of the plane from the ground. So our equation by putting the value will become 3 minus 103 meter will be equal to minus half g, the gra gravitation value is 9.8 into t square. So our value for the t square will be 100 into 2 divided by 9.8. So the time value will come out as 4.52 seconds. Okay. So we got the time for which the bomb is falling and striking the truck. But we need to find the velocity. So in order to find the velocity, we first need to calculate the distance that the truck has changed from its initial position. So x as we have calculated in the x direction is v1 into t, which is equal to 72 into the time that we have calculated now. So our x value will be equal to 325 meter. Now, we need to calculate the velocity of the truck, that is V2, which will be equal to change in the displacement by time. So our displacement will be X minus X naught by T. And X, as we have calculated, was 325 meter minus X naught, as it was given, was 125 divided by time, which is equal to 4.52 meter. So the value for the velocity will be 200 divided by 4.52 meter, which is coming out as 44.2 meter per second. So with this velocity, if our truck is moving and uh, then the bomb will strike the truck, this is our solution. So this was the velocity calculated for the truck. Now, in order to approach the problem for projectile motion, you first need to calculate the equations of motion in the x and the y plane. That is what we have done here and we have solved this problem. Hope you have understood the concept behind this problem. See you in the next video. Thank you.